Hi guys and welcome to another program of butter bread and stews. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy, simple, full of goodness and cost effective body lotion which uh, you can make it easily at home and uh, you can just use it for your body, for your hands and feet. This version of body lotion I make is all with natural ingredients which each ingredient have number of benefits for the skin. So instead of buying expensive body lotions with all the chemicals in them, why not make your own all natural organic body lotion at a lower cost? To make this body lotion, we need beeswax half a cup. Please note the beeswax amount plays a main role in consistency of your body lotion. So if you want a thicker body lotion, you need to increase the amount of beeswax. Or if you like more watery type of body lotion, you need to decrease the amount of beeswax in your body lotion. Two and a half cup of olive oil, half a cup of coconut oil. This is optional if you would like to add it. Half a tablespoon of vitamin E oil. And you can add half a tablespoon of your favorite essential oil. In this body lotion, I'm using half a tablespoon of orange essence, which I like, but you can add any kind of oil, which is your favorite. To make this body lotion, fill up half a cooking pot with the hot boiling water and keep it under the medium temperature. Then in a glass jar, add the olive oil, as well as the coconut oil, and the beeswax. Place the glass jar inside the hot boiling water under the medium temperature and let the beeswax to start melting gradually and mix with all the other oils. As you see the beeswax start melting down, let it continue to melt down until the beeswax is disappeared. As you see, there is no sign of the beeswax anymore. It means it's all melted inside the oil. Now it is time to remove the pot from the heat. Take the glass jar out of the cooking pot and add the half a tablespoon of vitamin E oil, as well as your favorite essential oil, whatever it is. Here I'm adding the orange essence and give it a mix. At this stage, we have done everything. All we need to do is to let the body lotion to get cold so that it will form a thicker and a firmer material which more looks like a body lotion. So let it cool down in the room temperature gradually so that you can get the finished product. Meanwhile, you can transfer the amount of the body lotion that you want to your favorite jar or any smaller container that you wish to use as a hand cream or feet cream. So this way the ingredients in the body lotion will be cooled down inside the container. As you see after some time, we start seeing the body lotion has been uh, started to cool down and you can see it's getting a form of solid gradually. Just let this cool down completely so you can get the best out of it. Now, as you see, the body lotion has been cooled down completely and this is the finished product that we get. This is the consistency that I like, but if you like more thicker, you can add more beeswax. If you are not happy with the consistency of your product, you can simply put the jar back inside the boiling water and add a little bit more of beeswax and you can get a thicker product. It's not a problem at all. Uh, that's all. I hope you like it and I hope you make it and enjoy this all natural, organic, full of goodness product. Until the next shows, bye-bye.